Welcome to Map TV. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Click on the bell button for notification. Welcome, this is Map TV, and my name is Donald. I believe your day was great, and uh, mine was beautiful. Um, I come to you with a great, great, great gist today, and it's very fascinating. You know, I always give you fascinating stories, very interesting gist, and um, it's about the can. <laughs> Christian Association of Nigeria. Sorry, I'm laughing, but it's actually funny. In the sense that uh, on Sunday, a few days back, or a few hours back, the two men went to the church of Pastor Gordon Fatwa Yungo, that is um, Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, and there they, they gave their overview support, standing by the man of God and standing by the church, even though Chairman Khan Abuja chapter I had to even say that he wishes to be a member or they should permit him to be a member of their church. Um, I think when the man entered into the church, he, the rise and tires and the grades, the glamour and the church, the swag, the class, everything just got his head bubbling and he couldn't just but wish to be a member of that church. Honestly, we just, the church is beautiful, beautiful edifice, nice place to be, looks very beautiful, yes. We cannot change the fact that that place looks very beautiful. And um, a lot of pastors, prominent world class pastors, have commented about the church. Some like Mike Mudrock, they've given the fact, the testimony is the fact that the place is quite a place of class. Even Pastor um, Benny Hinn himself said a thing like that too. So I think maybe because of all how beautiful the place looks, this man of God had to um, decide to be or wish or asking them to permit him to be a member. But that is not the main thing. And they give their support. Uh, the other man came from the whole churches on the North Central actually falls on him. He was the past or the former chairman of Khan Abuja chapter. And he has seven states on him. That is FCT inclusive. So this one from Abuja chapter gave me support 100% I think in the video if not said it. The Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to make a plea that you allow me to be a member here. The only, the only challenge I have, I don't know what I will do with my denomination. <laughs> I'm an associate pastor. But it's a pleasure being here. And uh, I assure you that we are with you and we'll continue to be with you. We're in support of the church. We're in support of your pastor. We stand by him. And this church will continue to march forward. I said and I declare the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. In the mighty name of Jesus. So tell me what you think about the support that they give um, on the man I got whilst the investigation is still ongoing. A lot of arguments, a lot of people are talking, people are saying why would can stand with a church that is facing an allegation, a church that the pastor stepped down, a church that is not vilified or verified or vindicated. Why would they just go there to throw their own support? Have they gone also to give their support to um, Busala Takoro? Actually, she is part of the church too. She is a human being, a Christian, and a victim at that, or alleged victim at that matter. So, have they gone to give her the support and that they are being partial? Some are calling them names. But, which got the attention of the Christian Association of Nigeria proper, I think the national body, which they mentioned also that they have a national body, the National Body of Christian Association of Nigeria. They've released a disclaimer. They've released a disown. They've released a report saying that they are not in support of those people that went to Commonwealth of Zion Assembly to give their support, that they are standing on their own, that they are not standing with Khan on that decision. And that um, PF, and that is Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, they've set up a committee a panel to investigate the matter and Khan says their initial declaration they stand by it saying that they do not stand on any party or with any party that they are standing on the truth and that they should give that, that, that they should permit the, the general populace to 
give them two weeks, that's give BFN two weeks to be able to um, get results and the truth out of the allegation proper so that they will be able to give their own verdict. So for these people that went to the church to give their support, Khan says they are not part of it 100%. <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> this is a country where by two men. <laughs> two men will just go and represent a whole body and now say and the funny thing is that these two men they did not even tell us the name of their churches. They did not they just stepped, told us their office, which is they are representing Khan and told us their name. They did not say their church where they are pastors. So Possibly, if not because they are of occupying office, we can't even trace them. But the thing is that it is a funny thing actually, because how can these people go and stand with um, Goza? Now, what? It, it's allegedly, yes, quote me by that, it's allegedly. What if Pastor Building was guilty? So, a whole body of Khan will go and stand with him. What message are you passing to the whole body of Christ? No, it's common sense. Even it's written in the Bible, do not trust anyone apart from the Lord your God. So human beings can fail. Human beings can make mistakes. Pastor Bioden is not infallible. Busola is not infallible. Bus Busola could have lied. Busola could have been saying the truth. Pastor Bioden could have been guilty. Pastor Bioden could have been innocent. So, on the side of so if you are a body of repute like can going to stand with them automatically you have just taken sides and that's impartial and you did not stand by pastor building via via any documentation of um, um an investigation you've made you just stood by him on on your own accord wow that's great <laughs> that's remarkable. I don't know what you think, whatever you think about this. Put, please put that on the comment section below. Do not leave without hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If this is your first time of coming to our channel, if you have always, if I've always visited our channel, thank you so much. If you subscribe, oh great. We are family. Thank you and do not go. <laughs>